Hello everyone. In this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to the Collect Show Files feature in ProShow. If you've never used it, this is one of the best tools to use after you're done creating a show. The Collect Show Files option collects all of the files used in the show, including all images, audio, and video clips, and copies them to a single location along with the show file. This really comes in handy when your show content comes from several different places on your computer. With the show you want to archive open, in the menu bar, select Tools, then Collect Show Files. As you can see, there's quite a bit of information in the Collect Show Files window. Over here on the left, you'll find the files used in show list. This displays every file that is in your show, no matter the file type. Notice that beneath each file name, you'll also see the file path that shows you where this file is located on your computer. Below the files used in show list, you'll find the save list option. This is great for getting a quick inventory of what you're using in your show. This option saves the files used in show list into a text format, so you can have a full account of all the content in your show. Over here on the right side of the window, you'll see the space necessary for collection pane. This tells you how many files by type are in your show, and how much storage space you'll need to collect and save everything. Below that, you'll find the options to choose whether you want to copy to a folder on your hard drive or burn the collect show files to a DVD or CD. If you select copy to folder, click on browse to locate the folder you want to use for the collection or create a new one. You can use this window to choose from any place on your hard drive or even select an external storage device like a flash drive. If you select burn to DVD or CD, select your DVD writer, speed, and the number of copies you wish to burn. With your storage options set, Click on Collect to begin gathering the files into one place. ProShow will copy all the files used in your show and paste them into a new, collected location. Regardless if you choose to copy the collection to a folder or burn it to a disk, you're going to get the same folder structure once the collection process is complete. Let's take a look at what the collected location will look like. In each collected folder, you'll find the following files and folders. A copy of the show file, which is your PSH file, an image folder, which contains copies of all the images used in your show, an audio folder, which has copies of all the audio clips used in your show, and a video folder for any video clips you used in your show. Once collected, you can move the entire collected folder from one place to another with ease. If you need to edit the show in the future, now all of your content will be in one place and ready to go. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.